Today, we're gonna to show you what to do when you need a repair for your HP computer. This video is for the US and Canada. Hi, and welcome to HP How To For You, HP's customer support blog. I'm Steph, and this is Bill, and we're here to bring you tips, tricks, and how-to information to help you get the most out of your HP products. Today, we're gonna to show you what to do when you need a repair for your HP computer. This video is for the US and Canada. If you're in the UK or another European country, please view our other repair video. You can find the link in the description below. If you've already contacted HP support, then go to the time that we're flashing on the screen. If not, keep watching. First, check out HP support online. Visit the HP support site and HP support assistant. It could be that your product has a software problem that can be solved without repair. You can also check out our virtual agent to get help. Just type in your question and it will give you solutions and diagnostics. Even if your product does not power on, you can visit the HP support website with another device and try to solve the issue that way. If none of the tips you find online work for you, then you can contact HP. There could be a charge if your unit is out of warranty. When you contact HP, our agents will troubleshoot your product issue. They'll ask you questions about the issue you are experiencing, as well as when and how the issue comes up. This will help HP repair your product. If the product needs to be repaired, the agent will let you know the options available for you, including a home pickup, bringing your unit to the nearest authorized drop-off center, or an on-site repair. Here's what to expect when your unit will be sent in to the repair center. First, we'll ship a box for your unit. Then, you will need to package your unit and either schedule a pickup from your address, additional fees may be required, or you can bring it to the nearest authorized drop-off center. Our service center will repair and return it. We'll also ask you to provide your email and mobile phone number so you can stay informed throughout the repair process. Here are some important details that will ensure the repair process runs smoothly. To get the shipping box and your repaired unit to you, we need to have a full physical address. Include specifications like apartment number, floor or entrance location to make sure the carrier can find you. In many areas, there's an option to use a drop-off and pickup center. Now, here are a few steps you need to take before packing up your unit. Remove all HP and other accessories unless your agent instructs you to return an accessory because it is related to your unit's issue. Also, remove or disable all your passwords so the repair center can test your product. And very important, back up your data. In most cases, the repair center will do a full system recovery, which returns your product to the original factory settings, which eliminates the possibility that software is the cause of the issue. This will also erase all your data, and HP is not responsible for data loss. So please, don't forget, back up your data. Based on your conversation with the agent, you should have received or picked up a shipping box. It contains packing material, packaging instructions, carrier contact information, and a prepaid shipping label. It may also contain a customer failure description form. Please also complete that. This is critical for you to tell us how often the issue occurs and steps to duplicate it. This will assist the repair center during the repair and testing of your product. Carefully pack your product in the box. Place the label in plain view on the outside of the box. Your unit is now ready to be dropped off or picked up. Because you provided your email address and a mobile phone number, we'll send you service status updates throughout the repair process. By the way, you'll only be sent status information. 
We will not send any marketing or promotional messages. And if you don't see your emails, you might need to check your junk or clutter folder. You can also use your service order number to check your HP service order status at hp.com slash repair. Once the product is fixed, the repair center will thoroughly test it and ensure it is fully functional before shipping it back to you. The whole process normally takes one to two weeks, depending on whether you choose normal or, if available, expedited shipping. There you have it. You've got your product back, repaired, and ready to go. And that's a wrap. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash HP support. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook at our support channels and on our support community at community.hp.com. You can find us and other people just like you answering questions about your HP products. Bye. Bye.